Hello and welcome to another computer craft tutorial. In this video I will demonstrate a new version of the tank monitor program that I wrote initially for 152. That program didn't work any longer in 164 so and I was lucky that this guy came and took care of that problem for me and updated my code and now I have updated that code even further so this is working really nicely with 164 and perhaps even later versions um, but make sure that read the video description for the latest status of this program in case there are any bugs or updates, I will update the video description with new pastebin links. So, uh, yep, please remember that. And I think that's it for intro, so let's get started with demonstrating what this can do. The, there are two parts of this program. If you haven't seen the old one, then I will explain it as good as I can. First of all, we need a, a tank and you need a valve on the back side of the computer. Well, if you, if you don't have it on the back side, you can have it on the side, but you need to update the, uh, the code in for every computer. So this is the easiest way to get started. Then we need two pieces of monitors above it and a lamp this is totally optional you don't need a lamp at all i just like to have it there and then you place the wireless modem at the bottom so that's everything you'd need to craft or and build to make this work so now we can paste bin get the code and you can name it whatever you want, perhaps tank, download as tank. The second step is to edit the startup. This and now we will auto run the tank program every time this computer starts. So and before that I will do a sleep command and I will get into this a little while longer but this will make the, the computer sleep for two seconds and then run the the tank program like that so control save control exit and now let's take a quick look at the tank program there is not much you need to do there are a lot of code in here but actually you only need to care about two lines it's the send frequency and the warning and the warning isn't very important at all but the send frequency is very important if you only have the, this will al always be two when you download it so if you have more than one tank that you will monitor you will need to update this for two three and four and five and and so on so one channel or frequency per tank so this will be two and i will have the warning threshold at 50 percent so everything below 50% will issue the warning that we are low. So you can change this to 20% or 90% or so. So let's stick to 50. Control save, control exit. I didn't change anything there. So, and now I hold control and R. This will reboot the computer and do the sleep command and then run a tank program. So what we see now is that we have no liquid in tank and that's kind of true. So nothing will be sent or done or anything. It will just sleep for 10 seconds and then check again and repeat that. So let's put some water in the tank and start filling it. Within 10 seconds this should update and now we can see the water amount is 39 buckets and the amount is roughly 10% now and that's less than 50% so 
so the red lamp will blink like this. But this will slowly fill up and once it reaches 50% uh, it will sleep for 10 seconds between every every round. We can see it here if that it will it has sent red dot water and the percentage. So uh, the red can also be green. It will be green at 50%. So this will mean that the main computer will know if we are above or below the threshold. So now we see green water and now it will sleep for 10 seconds between every every loop and then it will send another green water because it will continue to fill up. Okay. So now we can close that for a while and let's pick uh, do the main computer instead. So we can place it here perhaps. You build it similarly, normal computer down here, and I have advanced monitors. And you can manage by just two, like this, but then you're limited to only five liquids. There are six rows on the monitor, so this can only hold five. If you have another, it will be 11 liquids. So let's do that. And on the back side, we placed a wireless modem. And that's everything you need to do. Well, except for the code, and I will do it. So now let's see. We should download this. And download as main, perhaps. And we do the same thing as before. Edit startup and just shell.run. Like that. We will do no sleep here because when you open up the world, the uh, this main program will run first, and then all your slave computers will wait for two seconds before they run. So this computer will be up and running and ready to receive everything when the others are ready to run. So run main, exit, and hold. Uh, we should edit the main program. Take a quick, quick look at, look at this. So, to start with, I have done, I performed this command. Uh, th this close all command will disable all channels. So, at this point, the main computer or the main computer modem can't receive any any message from the slave computers. And I have then I open up the channel 2 and channel 3, but all the other channels are are commented, so they won't be open unless you yeah, unless you manually change it. We can do this a little later, I think, when we plug in all the other ones, but the channels this is the channel 2 and this has to correspond to what you have in at this channel 2. So this perhaps will be the channel 3 and this channel 4. And then I need to open channel 3 and channel 4. Well, 3 is already open, but channel 4 is not open. And that's pretty much it. So let's exit and reboot. So now it's running, it says liquid status and nothing else. It's only the wireless modem and it's red and running and active and everything. You don't have to have it on the back side, but if you place it on any other side, you will need to update the code to fit that. Okay, so, but we can't see the water at all. It's because this one is not running and for if nothing, if the value hasn't changed for during these 10 seconds, then uh, nothing will be sent to the main. So let's just start filling it up again. And now we can see the amount is rising. 
by every 10 seconds now. We see green water 64% is sent. And here we can see received water 64% and 73%. And we can see it in green text that we have 70, 82% water. I wonder if I need to have like that. Then we'll need to reboot, yep. Like that. Liquid status. Hold Control R to reboot and hold Control T to terminate the program. So now we have water 99% and soon it will be 100 and that means that the value won't change in at all. So nothing will be sent for as long as uh, we have 100% here. It's that easy, really. It's nothing worse than that. So I will quickly fill up, I will build a similar setup or exactly the same setup for all these computers and I will, for all these tanks, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm almost ready. So let's do the fun final, the final uh, tank. So paste bin, get M1F3DGP8 tank. Edit tank and select the frequency or channel. This and this also corresponds to the row on the monitor at the main computer. So this is the last one. So this is twelve. Save and exit, edit startup, sleep for two, shell run tank, and reboot so we know that it's working. So now we have 11 computers running here with, well, and only liquid in the first one, it's full. And before we can start them all, we need to terminate this, so control T to terminate. We have to hold it for perhaps two seconds. Edit main, and now it's, I have to unlock, or well, we have to open all the channels where we have computers. So I'm now maxing everything out, but normally perhaps you only have five or so. And I wanna keep it this way because if there are any other computers with wireless modems and they send on channels 5, 6, 12 or whatever, I don't want to mix that into here. I don't think it will crash, but it will look strange and uh, perhaps interfere in some way. So, yeah, that's, um, I hope that's understandable. So now we have all the two to 12 channels open, control save, exit, and reboot. Now we won't get the water because it's already full and nothing will be sent. So we can reboot this computer, hold control R, it will reboot, and it will send 100% at one time, but nothing else. So now we can start to populate all these other ones. So let's start with, I tried to pick from all different mods and it will work. So far it has worked with all mods I've tried, but there may be strange things happening with some of the names. I will demonstrate this very shortly because I I know there is at least one name that is really fishy. You can see what it is still, but it will it won't look as uh, as nice. So now we have all these different liquids. So let's start filling filling uh, the tanks, and they will look every tenth second. And if the if it has updated, well, yeah, yeah I have a valve here on top, so it will em fill up these tanks quite nicely now. So now we can see. I have kept the 50% threshold on all the ones so far, 
but they will update every second. And we can see lava, mob essence, XP use, creosote, and biomes of plenty honey. That's what it says here. Honey buckets from biomes of plenty. And they all send that to the main computer. And yeah, we don't need the second one. So quick reboot so we get the liquid status. Still won't get the water. And you can see that we get a lot of <laughs> a lot of percentages and liquid status. And one by one they pass the 50% threshold for warning. So they will become green. So we can see lava, mob essence, XP use, creosote, biomes of plenty honey, fuel lubricant, glass dot molten down here, it's molten glass, liquid DNA. And they will quickly fill up. If I do like this, I will empty it again and refill it so we'll get the water as well. And it is that easy. It shouldn't be more. You don't need to add anything else except for just open the channels for, and that means also the row. So if you will want to have them in a different order, then the channels at the sender has to be correspond to the row you want it to be at. So no automatic sorting on this side. You see 100% and we can see that once they reach 100, they won't send anything else and we won't receive anything else either. Now it's only the water that fills up. So I hope everything was very understandable. This will work both ways, of course. So when it, when the amount drops, the uh, it, within 10 seconds, the uh, the computer will recognize that and send an update to the main computer. So if you have any questions, I hope I can answer them. Uh, Again, check the video description for updates if the paste bin codes are still valid, for example, and for written tutorial or written details, instructions of how you have to do to make it work. Okay, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one.